Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, here today with a console review, and this one was a great one. Um, 10 out of 10, great experience. Um, this event was called the Aquilar Metal Fest. They got a free sticker uh, because I bought a patch of the event, which by the way, I have a lot of unsown patches that. Uh, for the life of me, I don't know where to put, and some of them, I'm planning on putting them on uh, regular black t-shirts. And, uh, two things that were a bonus, um, from one of the opening bands, they were throwing, uh, stickers, and, yeah, I even saw some people, uh, sticking it on, uh, their t-shirts and stuff. Not really so much into this band, but hey, uh, you know, it's a good souvenir. And I also got a set list from the main band. And yeah, the titles are in Spanish. The band is Spanish, they're from Madrid. And yeah. So yeah, anyway, as you guys saw uh, from the set list I showed you, the band was called Vita Imana. And yeah, um, so they were groove metal. Uh, I admit I'm not really into groove metal. Black Label Society, Lamb of God. You know, you uh, tell you uh, talk to me about those bands, and I will react with it. Eh. But you know, I do like Machine Head, and this band uh, they were okay. Um, since I have a since I uh, have vacations today being the last day, I decided, hey, what better way to have the vacations than to go to a metal show, so, yeah, and also it was of a band that I'm okay with, so decided to see them so I can check them out more. Glad I did, because I now like the band more. So the opening bands, was called Hera. Um, they were okay, they were enjoyable, they really had good energy going on, uh, which, uh, yeah, it was a little bit like metalcore, uh, which, um, you know, was okay. Uh, lots of energy moshing and stuff. The singer even got down to, got down the crowd to uh, do some moshing. But that's when I backed off because um, he was a really big guy and I don't want to make the mistake of um, accidentally, I don't know, knocking him over and uh, breaking his microphone or something. I mean, yeah, that's what I was thinking, but then later I'm like, nah, it's best I just uh, sit this one out whenever this guy is here. So yeah, um, also these guys had a little bit of a new metal touch to them. And also, uh, yeah, the singer, he was wearing a Lincoln Park t-shirt, so uh, yeah, not surprising there. So, um, second band was called Durga, early born band, instrumental, uh, progressive rock. Uh, so yeah, really boring, it put me to sleep. Yes, they were talented and, you know, that stuff, and they knew how to play their music well, but, you know, really boring. I, you know, I enjoyed the first few songs they played, but then later I was like, yeah, okay, next band, please. So yeah, the third band was the one I showed you of the sticker, Ossesno, punk band. Um, so it's not something I will normally listen to, punk. Uh, but, you know, they're, they were enjoyable live and I also did enjoy the moshing with this band. And there was an unexpected man coming in, 
so you know uh, I thought it was gonna be four bands but it turned out to be five so second to last band was called uh, Anedonia enjoyable they also reminded me a bit of uh, the band Amaranth um, which is you know a bit popish but you know enjoyable enjoyable nonetheless they aren't bands that I would normally listen to. I was just there for uh, Vita, Imana. Uh, but, you know, the other bands, I wouldn't discredit them or anything like that or say they were horrible. I enjoyed them live, but it's not something uh, that I would normally listen to. As uh, the saying goes, not my cup of tea. Yeah, last but not least, Vita Imana, really fun band. Now these guys, I really did enjoy them from start to finish, and not just because of the energy, the moshing, and all that stuff. Which, uh, by the way, I had to sit it out because uh, there was actually some like soda or beer on the floor and stuff, and I don't want to slip because it happened to me before, and yeah. Yeah, one thing about this band, they had another drummer, uh, she was a woman playing like um, those drums that they have in Slipknot. Uh, you know, those really long drums uh, where uh, they're played with like some really big sticks and also with the hands. Something different, uh, which was nice. Uh, And yeah, one thing I loved was the vocalists are really awesome vocals, guttural, and yeah, it sounded great. Who knows, maybe sooner or later this band will uh, have, uh, maybe, maybe not, that they'll have a little bit of a death metal touch to them. So yeah, let me tell you the experience, it was great, um, met new people and also saw a familiar face that show with Noctem, Dracum and all those other bands, the Four Hando Leyendas event. I saw her and yeah, she was saying like, hey, better behave, um, you know, referring to the moshing because uh, I was moshing with this really big Ukrainian guy and uh, because of it, uh, the poor girl, um, she's like this, you know, tiny, uh, really thin and whatnot. So yeah, I was about to knock her down. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, no wonder why she said that. So uh, yeah, this concert, the Akelarre Metal Fest, Really fucking awesome, 10 out of fucking 10, and yeah, next concert I'm going to is Niall, Niall and Christian. So uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, um, and oh, and also another cool thing, um, people uh, were uh, really curious about my battle jacket, uh, they were asking to see the back. Some people didn't know about Vital Remains, they were like, hey, uh, who's the band on your uh, back patch? And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's really cool uh, getting, having people notice your battle jacket and uh, being curious about it. And there was a guy um, asking to see it, and then I took it off, and I'm like, hey, uh, here, you can have a look for yourself. And yeah, he saw them and he came to the conclusion that I'm really into thrash, which I am. <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, so yeah, take care and as always, keep it metal.